one of the most important topics teach in the Bible and yet very often overlooked for me is time it's, it's very easy for Christians to talk about love it's very easy for Christians to talk about a spiritual discipline it's very easy for Christians to talk about evangelism and yet this is a very about holiness and everything but this is a very important topic covered in the Bible and yet when we talk about time we often think about the time management developed in a secular environment how crazy is this? actually the Bible really talks a lot a lot 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 about time in the early church even more because the concept of time in the early church is Jesus will come soon. They know how to use the time well. The coming of the Lord is like thief. It can come at any time, immediate. And there is their prayer. Lord, come soon. Lord, come soon. Lord, come soon. This is the concept of time that a very, very little, very, very small portion of Christians are aware of today. This thing alone, if you, you understand to the heart, it's more important than 100 time management technique. You will manage your time in a much better way after you understand this. If Christ comes today, are you ready? So this is the questions that you need to ask yourself. Jesus can come at any time. And this will help you to cherish your time better, to manage, to use your time well, so that at any time Christ comes, you are ready. So cherish that time. Paul wants the people on Ephesus, to the church in Ephesus, very, very strongly. Redeem, make the best use of time, because these days are evil. It's in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17. Redeem, make the best use of time because the days are evil. You need to be aware that a lot of things around you are just bringing you away from God. The timing that Satan used might be very, very subtle. Oh, just play that game. It's, it's not a sin, right? Yes, it's not a sin, but you have to waste your time. Otherwise, you can use that time to, be, to bring a blessing for somebody. And you have used that time to just play that game and you, you feel a little bit happy and yet in the end you will feel regret that's a certain technique simple and yet so dangerous while the other option is you, you do something that can bring some joy to some people that can bring God's love to that people and after that that joy fills your heart which one you choose? most people choose this one playing games, so sad. So just remember that you have limited time. Your time is limited. Make the best use of it because the days are evil. Satan might not attack you by asking you to sin. Satan just attack you by, by asking you to, to just waste your time. And then you, you do nothing to glorify God. You do nothing to help you to grow in God. You do nothing to help you to understand His will better. You do nothing for the important things. And Satan is very happy with this. Because all Christians, if all Christians are like that, then he can do his plan to destroy Christians even more. By just like drifting you from, from really seeing the time. So this is the theology of time that I want to share, to, to, to see time in a, in a biblical way, in a theological manner, to really appreciate your time. Yeah. So if you like this, this video, please hit the like button and share to your friends so that more Christians are aware of the importance of time, to see time in a biblical manner. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get more updates, get more videos from me that help you in your Christian journey. See you in the next video.